Okay, ladies and gentlemen, man, uh, today is uh, November 10th, 2013. The Walking Dead, once again. <laughs> Tonight's episode was called Internment. Assorted enemies pressure Rick and the group. The survivors in the prison may reach a breaking point. Listen, if you haven't watched tonight's episode, please stop listening now. You've had your chance. The governor is back. Done. Game over, okay? Now, what I really enjoyed the most about this episode tonight was the fact that Mashawn... Mashawn decided, thanks to Daryl, that she was going to give up her search for the governor. She's been going out every single day since the end of season three every single day going out to search for this governor the trail went cold and then right when things just I guess reached their their breaking point inside the prison you know everybody's uh, you know about to die uh, Sasha's sick uh, Glenn is sick uh, Herschel's inside trying to care for people Maggie has to come inside and there's just I guess this this uh, ultimate uh, threat of danger man and death and destruction man and then all of a sudden everything um, kind of calms down because Daryl, uh, Ty uh, Tyrese, and Sean, and uh, the town drunk, they get back to the um, to the prison. They bring the medical su medical supplies, and everybody that um, can uh, be saved is saved. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> at the end of the episode, the governor shows up, and he doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything. He just looks at the prison. And then all of a sudden, he just looks over his right shoulder. I don't know what he's looking at. I don't know if that's if he's carrying with him um, an army. If if there's there's something there that he was looking at, or he was just looking at us to make that the dopest scene uh, in in the history of television. Okay, um, but he's back, and I, I really don't know what this means, man. Besides uh, the possibility of um, a lot of our people dying, a lot of the the people that we really care about in the show, the characters, man, actually getting murdered in a way that has never been <laughs> done before, man. Uh, tonight was just insane. It really was, man. Um, uh, Herschel, man, is, is the leader of the show right now. He's the hero of the story. This season belongs to him, man. And, and so much to uh, the point where I say if uh, civilization gets back to normal, there should be a statue erected inside of his image that sits in the middle of the town and people um, dance around and, and celebrate like Herschel Day because he's that important to... Um, <laughs> to these people, man. Without him, everybody will be dead. Okay. Uh, hilarious, hilarious comment by Herschel, man, was that uh, there should be Spaghetti Tuesdays um, every Wednesday. Um, the only thing is they have to find spaghetti. It was just absolutely hilarious. He was trying to keep everybody kind of calm and you know bring in some joke and some uh, some comedy, comedic relief um, to the situation. Um, awesome scene, man. You had uh, Rick driving back uh, home or back to the prison after leaving Carol. And Carol's gone. He breaks the news to Maggie. Maggie says, I agree with you, Rick. And you're sitting here like, what? Yeah, Maggie was like, I agree with you. And she went even further and said that, I don't know if I could have done what you did. I would rather just, you know, pretty much blow her brains out. <laughs> so, you, you know, you, you try to wrap your head around that, and really, you really can't, to be honest, man. Uh, Rick hasn't told Daryl about Carol. Um, hasn't told Tyrese either. I guess we'll address that next week. Um, as far as the promo, they didn't show any of that in the promo, so I don't know what's going to happen with that and what's going on with that, man. Um, the, that one doctor that usually hangs out with Herschel, he's dead now. It says, uh, uh, he's, well, he said, uh, not everyone gets to live. And then he turned into a zombie and, you know, got his arms broken off by Herschel and then got stabbed in the face. Uh, <laughs> let me see, um, another, uh, Another good thing, man, was uh, Maggie and Herschel, man. They get to, to kind of share this moment um, together, man, in saving Glenn, man. That kind of just allows them to build a relationship again. Um, Rick and Carl get to have this, this zombie killing spree together. And it kind of shows you that, uh, you know, I guess eventually, maybe even next week or the week after following episodes, at least this season, Rick will start trusting Carl, man, to take care of business. And that's, that's a good thing, man. Um, that Lizzie, Lindsay, Lizzie girl, Lindsay, I think her name is Lizzie, she's, uh, she's pretty disgusting, she's, uh, actually playing and making, like, like, designs with her foot inside of blood. I don't know what that means, but it's pretty, pretty sick, man. Um, anyway, man, hey, the best thing about the episode, I said it once again, man, the governor's back, Glenn is alive, Sasha's alive, Rashawn is alive, Daryl's alive, Tyrese is alive, Rick is alive, Carol's out there wandering, um, 
amongst the uh, zombies. And that's it, guys. We're out of here.